What up, people? Guys, it's Kenyo. Kenyo. It's your boy Kenyo. Um, having I'm a out. work day here today. Yeah, work day. <laughs> I really just sleep day. Daniel Victoria is here shading my my grind, even though it's killer, stellar as always. What's up, guys? It's Kenyo. But here it goes. We should call victims warriors, even if it were involuntary war. Victoria is here shading my, my grind, even though it's killer, stellar as always. I'm not doing anything new this week. It's actually a pretty slow week. Um, I'm supposed to be out in LA next week. Fingers crossed. We'll see if that actually happens. Um, but me and Danielle, we had a podcast, which we just, a new episode is going up, like, right now. So that's cool for you guys. Check it out. Hashtag goals on, um, all the stuff. YouTube. This is her house, by the way. Check out this, uh, beautiful photo of a young Danielle Victoria. <laughs> um, but yeah, check out the podcast. It's really cool. We're killing it. So We're talking about stuff for a bunch of millennial stuff. Apparently, to her, that's how I sound. If she wasn't my podcast partner, I would be more upset with her for mocking So, like, you're when you start your interview, like, what's up, guys? It's Kenya. Like, up, guys? You're... What's up, guys? It's Kenya. How you, you got doing? to catch a wave, bro. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? It's Kenya here. Just wanted to let you know that uh, basically I'm living life, doing it real. That's <laughs> my view. Yeah, it's not my view at all. But anyway, um, what else is going on? Check out the podcast. This weekend, I'm not doing anything. Next weekend, I'm doing a sh- show. It doesn't matter. Um, what else is going on? I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing stuff out. Check, check me out on Instagram. But you're already watching this, so you already know stuff about me. So let me tell you about something else that's going on in the world. What's something that people are, that I'm talking about right now? So insecurity. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to talk about more insecurity stuff. Um, sorry. I've learned you don't get too close to female co-workers or else we call HR and HR is me even though as a poet I don't have HR but (laughs) yeah but there's a lot of just like weird little stuff going on behind the scenes working on this podcast and then another thing with Alina so uh with with (laughs) Danielle we did this short called Alina Estella and uh who is Alina Estella and then I'm also working on helping her I'm going to a meeting tonight with Danielle Weston Collins and uh, Chantel, and they're going to be starting a podcast. And then uh, I'm still working I'm on Cartoon busy. Lamar. Yeah, and then I'm working on different stuff for Project for TV, and I'm writing a lot of new poems that I'm just putting on Instagram. It's fun, and I need to shave. So that's my week. How are you doing? Let me know. Um, yeah, I'd love it if you'd read some of my poems and tell me what you think about them. All right, can you later. out? Can you out? Can you out, dudes? Catch a wave, bro. Hang tight. <laughs> Boom. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Weston L. Collins, writer of all sorts of stuff, novels, movies. I do a podcast pretty soon. And uh, next to me is... Danielle Johnson. Yes. And, you know, the cool thing is I just met this, uh, this young lady, like, probably a few minutes ago. And as soon as I met her, we instantly clicked and you know we're definitely going to be working together um especially with uh, the whole movie thing um so a movie that i'm basically going to be writing is called loved ones it's essentially going to be about a um, a young man in the 1960s um, specifically in ladera california um he's uh, gonna have a party at his house where he invites 12 of his best friends from elementary school, or high school, or whatever. And unfortunately, he's going to be slipped. 12 hits of LSD. And that is really scary because there's all sorts of crazy things that people do when they're on LSD. And for him to even not know what's going on, oof, it's, uh, it's going to be crazy to see. And I'm actually really excited because, you know, I thought it was just going to be me sitting there like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? What's the next thing? But now I have another amazing mind to work with me on this project. And it's, uh, it's going to be dope. It's going to be very dope. And not only that, but uh, coming up pretty soon, uh, we're going to be doing the Pretendophiles podcast where we will be investigating and 
roasting the hell out of people. <laughs> <laughs> roasting the hell out of people who have defrauded the government, other people, and that defrauding, that action of, you know, pretending to be someone else or defrauding someone else resulted in a crime. Um, people meet up? Yeah, what's a special place where people meet up? Cafe. H-E-B? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel said, like, Starbucks or Starbucks. coffee shop. Barnes and Nobles? Coffee shop. Grocery stores. Um, you know, so. The kitchen? Shopping. The kitchen? Can you work out documenting this for my blog. Nigga, we're not a... You, you have to sign release form. You can't just... Yeah, you did not ask our permission. If I get sued, I don't give a fuck. I don't have any money to pay. Yeah, no, <laughs> we know you have rug board. <laughs> Kenyon's recording us, even though he didn't inform us that of that beforehand. Just FYI. You know what we can call it? What? Because, all right. So, Thank you. Leon. Yeah, we can call it the Black Coffee Podcast. People, other people gather around. Stop. We are black people. You know, it's our, it's our perspective. Of, I don't like that almost kind of. 